Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So welcome to my new course that is Chat GPT. So we'll try to learn about the concept of the Chat GPT, this Open AI, Open AI. So how we can, uh, how what are the things involved in this one? So how we can do the prompt engineering and how we can use these prompts and all the things. Let's try to do it. So if you open this Chat uh, AI, so this is what Open AI. Oh sorry. If you go here and if you try to do chart GPT, so this is our website and here you will be able to see two types of models will be there. So this one is a, what I can say is, uh, so we are having two versions that is nothing but 3.5 version and also another one is the GPT-4 version. However, this chart GPT-4 version is an uh, upgrade, uh, upgrade thing. So you need to pay $20 per month. So in order to use this chart GPT-4. And here chart GPT 3.5 is however it is free. Okay. So let's try to see about the, we have a quick tour about this interface and chart GPT 3.5 and 4. So these are develop, uh, these are dependent on the, what I can say is large language model. So these are all the things, uh, how the chart GPT works and all the things is the LLM. So that is large language model. So this will take some iterations and training model. What are the data sets? It will go through a huge number of data sets and it will, it will try to give you the best output. So these uh, these uh, programming or what I can say is the model structure or anything define uh, what we call it as a large language model. So you'll try to learn about this one uh, afterwards. So it's something like uh, what I can say is model means it's a computer program. You can think it as an so the that type of computer programming is nothing but a large language model. And here you will be having 3.5. It will have a most uh, probably predefined model. So which will give you a very pretty straightforward answer. So it will not have a logical reasoning or anything like that. Whereas chart GPT-4, you will be having a very wide variety of the large language model. So different types of models, you can use it, customize your models. And also it will be giving you more human like related logical reasoning. It will try to give you, you'll try to learn about this 3.5 and 4 and all those things. Okay. So now if you try to see here, this is our interface of this chart GPT. And here, if you open this chart GPT, here you'll be able to see how can you help you today. So this is the logo. And here you'll be able to see some of the examples. Tell me a fun fact and all those things. So now here you need to understand that chart GPT is a context aware. So whatever the uh, message charting you are trying to give. So it will remember the previous chart messages and it will give you the answer according to that previous message. So this is a context aware. Whereas in the Google, it is not a context aware. We'll try to see. I will try to show you the example also. So this is our main one. So here you'll be able to select the version, which version you want to use it. Right now I'm using 3.5. And here you can use some best examples. Tell me a fun fact. So here you, it will give you some series of uh, uh, answers. So it will give you the answer like this. And this is a simple fun fact. So it is trying to give. And you can continue your chart like this going on, going on. So remembering this context. And here whatever the... <clears throat> whatever the whatever the message whatever the chart you are trying to do it it will be stored in the right side here okay in the left side sorry in the left side side navigation here you will be able to see this chart message and this chart message is directly sto stored here so that for now for example if you are trying to search for anything uh, another fun fact if i am trying to give another fun fact now here everything will be stored so when it is coming if i go back to here Mm, let's say that I am going into another fun fact. So this is okay. Um, so what, what I can say, what I can type. So anything, anything. So first president of India. So I am trying to search for another one. So now when I am trying to click here, so he, here we will be able to see it. So now if I refresh this page, so you will be able to have these all the messages. Okay. And here if I do uh, ingredients for chicken biryani or anything so whatever the thing you want to type you can give it okay now like this you will be able to type whatever the things you want it you can be able to do it now uh, what I can say is at the bottom in the left side navigation so you will be able to see um, like this so here you'll be able to see my plan and in this my plan, so I am in the uh, plus, so that is nothing but uh, four dollar uh, uh, chart GPT four. And here you'll be able to see my GPTs, and here custom navigation settings. So here you'll be able to see the settings. Settings theme you will be having system defined theme or dark theme or light theme. If you select the light theme, it will be in light color. 
and here dark theme means it will be, it will be in the dark color and uh, another one what i want to tell is data controls so here if you want to export the chart data and all those things so it will be it will come it as a it will come as in your email so the data will be exported to your email and if you want to delete your chart account you can delete it here so these are all different types of things okay <clears throat> and this is the main thing so here some of the options will not be available for you in the chart gpt 3.5 First, more, but most probably chart gpt 3.5 and chart gpt 4 is one and the same only but it will be difference the difference will be in three categories three main categories the difference will be there one is the speed and the reasoning it will be so these are the so first one is the speed so chart gpt 3.5 is more speed than the chart gpt 4 why because so you may be having a doubt why chart gpt 3.5 is uh, speed chart gpt 4 is a paid version right but chat gpt4 it will try to search for a, uh, so many sources to get you the uh, reasoning thing so to get you a correct perfect answer whereas the chat gpt3.5 is a predefined model it will give you instantly and because of the reasoning thing so the reasoning so it, it needs to give you a more logical type of thing chat gpt4 so that is the reason it will be somewhat slow so that is the main difference between chat gpt3.5 and 4 and apart from that you will be having so many things available for you i will i will try to see those all things also so now that is the thing it's finished so here if you are able to see here you'll be able to see a prompt okay this is the chart one which you are be trying to make now i will try to show you some simple uh, prompts how we can do it so for example let's say that i told you about this one is an uh, uh, what i want to tell you is uh, it's an aware context aware right so for example let's say that i'm deleting this chart and everything so here i, I want to search for something like uh, let's do so I am doing some yeah so here I am try, try writing how many citizens does India have okay so this is the message which I am trying to search so here let's search for this one so if I press enter so here you will be able to see as of my update 2022 estimated 1.3 billion like this right so when I go to the chat GPT 4 let's try to see the same question i will try to search it here oh sorry so let's try to copy this main thing and let's go to the chat gpt4 and here if you search for the same thing it will take some time see here it is doing the search with the bing and uh, everything so the current searching current population so it will take some time and here it is giving you the see it has given you as of 2024 there as of 2022 it has given you the something like this so here this is our chart gpt 3.5 so 3.5 it has given you like this and this is chart gpt 4 okay and i uh, uh, and another one also you can search for something like uh, who is the first president of india okay so if you search for this one so let's see what will happen okay so it is, it is searching for the first president of india or something like that so it, it will take some time so here it is doing dr rajendra prasad is uh, first president of india like this it is showing so for example let's say that who is rajendra prasad we'll try to search it for this one who is rajendra prasad so if you try to search for this who is rajendra prasad so here it is showing some indian independence movement and so all those things it is doing but here if you try to understand one thing so we are trying to use some simple prompts so these are all the simple prompts messages we are trying to do how many citizens does indian have so it is showing the message who is the president of india so it is a pretty straightforward question which you can already search in the google also so you can do the same search in the google and there you will be able to get wide variety of search results so that you can learn you can see the so many options there but most of the things all the search results will give you the same probably this this is the people this this is the how many citizens it will be it is existing in india so you'll be able to see as almost all the results as same who is the first president of india means all the results also you'll say rajendra prasad only in google or bing or anything so wherever you search it but here in the chat gpt if you try to see now i am trying to search who is rajendra prasad so rajendra prasad means we are, we are having this name is a common name in india where you can have wide variety of peoples so not only the uh, president so you can have uh, indian actor will be there movie actors will be there and also uh, we can say that uh, cricketers in cricketers or will be there in sports we can see so in anywhere in any in anywhere we can see this name 
but here I am searching who is Rajendra Prasad. Now it is trying to give you filter out and it is trying to give you the uh, what I can say is it is trying to give you the uh, one one prominent one. So it is going on searching with the in the models like that. It is giving trying to give you the prominent one. But whereas in the Google, if you try to search, so it will give you wide variety of peoples. So this is one thing you need to understand. In ChatGPT, it will give you only one result. So that is one thing. And the another one which I want to tell you about this one is it is a context aware. So the prompts are context aware. So this is also another one which is important you need to understand context aware. For example, let's say that um, let's say um, I will try to refresh this page so that we can get a new one. Oh, sorry. So I'll try to remove this one. So now I am in the chat GPT-4. And here I have a context aware. So I want to show you the context aware prompts. So let's say that what is chicken biryani. I am trying to search what is chicken biryani. And if I search for this one, so it will give you that what is a chicken biryani, say aromatic and all those things. It's a thing. It will give you about this one. So now it is giving you about the explanation of this chicken biryani. Chicken biryani explanation it is giving. And I want to know about the recipe. So I want to prepare this recipe. So I want to know about the recipe. So what I can do, I can I can continue the chart. So I can continue a chart like a human. Human. So please give me recipe. So now it is it is remembering the context. So why previously it has I have searched for the chicken biryani. It has remembered the recipe and it is trying to give you the recipe here. So for the biryani making, how we need to prepare it. So it is giving you the recipe. Now for example, let's say that. I can also search something like I need a shopping list. So here I can write I need a shopping list. Okay, with all ingredients. So now if you try to search, so now it remembers that you are asking the ingredients about the chicken biryani. So that means it is remembering the context. Whereas in the Google, it you will not able to get this type of things. So here it is giving chicken for chicken marinade. It is giving you these all the things and rice for biryani. So these are all the things it is giving. So like this you will be having. So this is this is what is called as an context aware prompts. So this is all about the brief introduction of the chart GPT. So hope you understood about this concept. So what I want to tell you is the both are one and the same only. So chart GPT 3.5 and 4 are uh, one and the same everyday tasks you can do it. And whereas chart GPT 4 means I told you right. So it will give you an updated one whereas we can use the customized language large models. So we can use whatever the uh, there it will be a predefined model. So that is one thing. So that's it guys about this chart GPT. So welcome to the new course. We will try to learn more advanced concepts in this chart GPT. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.